So, all right, Nick, first thing we want to do is identify your tools. This is the trowel, important piece, obviously. Brick hammer, in case you have to use a half brick, snap it in half with the brick hammer. This is our joiner. They're going to smooth off our head joints and our bed joints, very important. And once that sets up, we're going to wipe everything down with the brick brush. Over here is two foot level, very important. Got to plumb, got to level the brick. Over here is the mortar. This is our mix. In this temperature, it's kind of hot right now. So if we have loose mortar just like this, you can see it's almost like an oatmeal consistency. Yep. That's the stuff that we want. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is build our lead. You'll see me do that. That's called a furrow. That helps me spread the mortar evenly. Next thing I'm going to do is grab my brick, place the brick in there. Anything that I'm pooging out in terms of mortar, I'm just going to scrape back. What I want to do is I want to make sure this brick is level, which it's not. Now it is. I want to make sure it's level this way. Give it a little tap. Clean it up. I'm going to grab a good amount. Again, I'm going to furrow. Helps me spread my mortar. Slam that mortar right in there and make my head joint. When I lay into this brick, you'll see that I want to make a good connection as tight as possible. Again, I want to make sure I level these brick. That's perfect. I want to wiggle that into place. So what I'm doing right now is I'm ranging the brick. I want to make sure this guy stays straight into the wall. I've already measured these out with a square and squared up that corner. Now I'm going to sneak behind you, grab another load of mortar, go in, same procedure. I'm going to furrow. Now again, I'm going to lay right to my line. This takes the place of my level so I know I'm plumb. You see how I shake this into place? I don't want to bang it. If I bang it, I'm going to affect those brick below me. So I just go very carefully. Again, grab my two foot. As you can see, I'm going to make sure I level every brick in my lead because it's going to dictate the rest of the way these brick lay. So that's why you'll see me take my time a little bit with my lead. OK, Nick, so we're going to take these line blocks and we're going to fill in the middle. So that one hooks on there. This one hooks on this end. And now we're ready to fill in the middle. I pick my brick. I dip into my mortar. I'm going to hit my bed joint, again the furrow, and anytime I can drag into my brick like that, it's just a better head joint. Slamming the head right now, and again the back of my hand, which is my heel, is going to help me wiggle that brick into place. Scrape my excess. So grab your trowel. Okay. Get, in, get into the mortar again, just exactly, that's how I did it. Okay. Okay, now get a scoop, give a shake. Nice, grab yourself a brick. All right. And now wheel in and put your bed, bed joint down. There's the furrow. Feels like I need a little more. Yeah, you're gonna need a little more, right. Don't be afraid to drag it right into that previous brick. Yep, just like that. Now you're going to want to slam the head joint onto the brick that you have. Put some mortar on so here. So just pick in here, yep. Okay. And slam it just like that. Excellent. Spread it out a little. Okay. Yeah. And then again, bring it in nice and tight. Now you want your heel back on that brick. Exactly. Now you can kind of caress it in, if you will. Got it. Yeah. You, you always want to stay off the line. You never want to touch that line with your hand. So that's the trick. Okay. All right, scrape that excess. You don't want to scrape up because you'll mess up the brick. You want to scrape just like that. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Just neatness counts. All right. Nice. Okay. Slam that brick. Pull it back in. Again, you want to stay off that line. Okay? Yep, looks good. Thanks for watching. 
This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.